the owner of the Mosquito Squad of West Michigan and Grand Rapids. And Jack, you're here to tell us more about those ticks. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. So if you could start off by telling us about the increase in ticks and some of those illnesses. Sure. Well, if you look right even here, here's our most common Michigan ticks. But uh, the American dog tick is the most common. It's 76% of what people find on their body. About 25% uh, is um, the deer tick. And this is the one with Lyme disease, the dog tick is the one with Rocky Mountain Fever. Um, but uh, again, is what they're sharing a little bit is about 250% growth in population just to the deer tick or what, uh, you know, that black-legged tick. And uh, so it is on the rise. It's continuing to grow. And uh, with Lyme disease being part of that uh, um, disease that comes with these crazy little uh, insects right. is, is interesting. Yeah, and of course, you know, we've got some beautiful weather in the forecast, and Correct. so all of us, we're going to want to be outside. And so how can we really protect ourselves from these pesky little bugs? Well, I think there's a number of things. As we call the six C's, you can kind of clear out your yard. As you understand, as the tick actually sets itself, it doesn't jump, it doesn't fly. So these are some things that uh, a tick will kind of take their back legs and sit on the edges of things. So yeah. um, as you clean up your yard, you, you take the leaves, the branches. You also look at hardscapes because... Um, Ticks actually live on rodents uh, a lot of the time when they're early stages and the sizes of them. I actually have something that kind of helps people understand a little bit about yeah. a size, um, but they go in a cycle of a, a you know, they lay an egg, they go to a larva, then a nymph, which is the most dangerous of this deer tick because it's so small and so hard to detect, even though as it right. burrows its head into our skin, they're very difficult until they become an adult. That's about attack size. Um, the nymph is about the pin, the size of a head of a pin. Right, and so that kind of leads into my next question then. So if it is so small, what are some of the effects you feel? How do you know if you've kind of been... You know, bitten yeah, <laughs> okay, right. as it burls in. But the, yeah. the one thing is this is a painless activity. Mm -hmm. So when you get bitten by a tick or as it burls into your skin to get uh, that blood meal, they need blood to be able to transfer from one stage of their cycle to the next. Or as a female is they need the blood to be able to lay their eggs, which ticks lay somewhere between... Uh, 3,000 to 10,000 eggs, one female tick. Um, and they lay those in a burl's nest of rodents and, you know, those type of things. Yeah, and so hopefully none of us have to go through this, but I know that you did bring some tools with you, some sure. things that can kind of help you out in case you do end up experiencing something like this. Well, there's a couple things. Is one is we have a tick tubes, which people can also do in their yards. Is this is something that we lay out, which gets the ticks in the small stage of the larva okay. because of those 10,000, you know, eggs and larvas that get hatched. Um, rodents come and grab these cotton balls. We lay these all across your yard. Okay. So this is one thing. But uh, the other part is this little tool, which is called a tick twister. Um, this is the tool you hope you never have to use, but once you have it, it's very beneficial. Right. Um, as you lay this in, as you go underneath, because of that burling in, is you don't want to put wax or you don't want to burn the tick because um, they can leave that part of their head or their mouth still in your skin and you can create... Uh, so you kind of take this in as if you just put this on and you slide it into the tick and you just twist it and it pops it right off. So it pulls right. the head and all their mouth right out of your skin. Right. Jack, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Of course, a lot of great tips for us in case, you know, you end up coming across some ticks and we'll put some of those tips online.